Airflow has many Python dependencies and sometimes those dependencies are in conflict with dependencies that your tasks need to work. And if you are in this nightmare, well, this video will be very useful for you. Indeed, you will discover the external Python operator to isolate your tasks and avoid dependency conflicts. My name is Mark Lomati, head of customer education at Aston Mer, best selling store on Udemy. And if you don't want to miss any videos about Airflow, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That will help me a lot and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Let me show you an example of a dependency nightmare. So imagine that you have an Airflow instance and in that Airflow instance, there is scikit learn with 1.0. But now you have a task in your DAG that needs scikit learn 1.3 to work. So how do you manage that? If you try to run that task that needs scikit-learn 1.3, whereas in your F instance, you already have scikit-learn 1, then you will get a dependency error. And to manage that, Airflow brings many solutions. First, you have the Kubernetes pod operator. If you have a Kubernetes cluster, then you can run your task in a Kubernetes pod with its own dependencies, and that won't impact your F instance. Another solution is to use the Docker operator. If you have Docker, you can see a video that I made a while ago about it. Again, the task will run in a Docker container with its own set of dependencies that won't impact your F instance. But there are other solutions that are easier than those two operators, which are the Python virtual env operator and the external Python operator. In this video, we will focus on the external Python operator, but if you want to learn more about the differences between those two operators, you can go on the Airflow documentation, then best practices, and under handling conflicting complex Python dependencies, you will see using the Python virtual env operator right there with the benefits and some limitations, as well as the external Python operator, which is available from Airflow 2.4 with the benefits and also some drawbacks. In a nutshell, the idea of the external Python operator is rather simple. Indeed, you will execute your task with scikit-learn 1.3 inside a pre-existing Python virtual environment where this dependency exists. So here, that will be a Python virtual environment that again, you have created with scikit-learn 1.3 installed. And just like that, you are able to isolate your task from your Airflow instance and so avoid dependency conflicts. Now you may wonder why the external Python operator over the Python virtual env operator. It's pretty simple. The idea is with the Python virtual env operator, you create a new Python virtual environment each time the task is launched, which means there is a quite a big setup overhead that you can avoid with the external Python operator as the Python virtual environment already exists. So that's why I tend to prefer the external Python operator as it is much faster to run than the Python virtual env operator. And there are other security and network reasons why I think this one is better to use. If you want to follow this video, I strongly recommend you to install the Astro CLI. If you don't know what it is, it's truly the easiest and fastest way to run Airflow locally. You can go on the following page and click on your printing system, then follow the instructions. And also this video is part of a bigger project that you can find somewhere here. If you want to create a fully functional data pipeline that interacts with BigQuery, runs data quality checks and uses dbt to model your data. So that being said, now it's time to go to your code editor, then initialize your Airflow environment by typing astro dev init. And as you can see on the left, I have some files and folders that have been generated for me. And we can create a new data pipeline. So let's remove those two DAG examples right away and create a new DAG called dependency or actually let's say my simple DAG. Then here we can do the usual imports. So from Airflow decorators, import DAG and task, same for date time. And we use the DAG decorator with a start date equals to the 1st of January, 2023, a schedule interval to known, catch up to false and tags, let's say example. We define the DAG ID, which is my simple DAG. And we call the DAG at the end of the DAG file. Okay, in this DAG, we will create a new task that fetches the stock market data for a specific ticker, let's say Apple. And for that, we will use Y Finance, which is a pretty popular Python library. And the interesting thing here is that if you go to the changelog, 
you can see that starting from the version 0.4, you have a new feature, get shares full. So we will install the version 0.3 at the Airflow instance level and the latest version of Y Finance for the external Python operator. So you will see that within the external Python operator, we are able to call the method get shares full. Whereas at the Airflow level, we won't be able to call that method because it doesn't exist yet with the version 0.3. So let's do that. Back to the Airflow instance in requirements, we can put Y finance equal equal to 0.3. Okay, as shown right there. And then we can create a new task extract stock old Y finance. Then we want to import Y finance at the top of the DAG file. And we want to print the stock market prices for Apple on the standard output. Then don't forget to call the task here. Save the file, then in the terminal type astro dev start in order to start your F instance then wait a little bit. And you can type astro dev bash to access the Airflow CLI and test the task by typing Airflow tasks test my simple DAG and the task ID of the task you want to check. Hit enter. And as you can see, we are able to fetch the stock market prices for Apple. But the question is, can we use the method that doesn't exist yet? So let's verify that. Apple equals to Y finance ticker apple and then apple.get shares full with the following dates. Let's try the task again. And as you can see, we have the error ticker object has no attribute get shares full as expected. Why? Because we are using an older version of Y finance. So now we know that this doesn't work. Let's see what we can do with the external Python operator. As we are using the Astro CLI and we run the Airflow instance in the context of Docker, we will use the Docker file to create the Python virtual environment that the external Python operator needs. Remember that the external Python operator runs a task in a pre-existing Python virtual environment. So you need to create that Python virtual environment first. And for that, we can use the Docker file. Again, that's because we are in the context of Docker and run the following command. Pretty simple, we create a Python virtual environment called yfinance underscore vamp. Then we activate that Python virtual environment and we install yfinance with the latest version. Just like that, you save the file and then you restart your Airflow instance to create that Python virtual environment. So astro dev restart. Once Airflow is up and running, you can type astro dev bash to access the Airflow CLI. And you can verify that the Python virtual environment exists by typing source, then Y finance venv bin activate. And as you can see, I'm inside the Python virtual environment that we've created just earlier. Okay, so now it's time to create the task. Let's go back to the DAG. And here we are going to use another decorator, which is the external Python decorator. And that decorator expects one parameter, which is Python corresponding to the Python binary in the pre-created Python virtual environment. So in this case, it is slash user slash local slash airflow y finance underscore venv bin Python. Again, you can verify that by going back to the Airflow CLI. And if you type ls y finance bin Python, you will see that path. OK. Under that, we can just copy and paste the exact same task above. And here, let's say extract stock new y finance. Don't forget to import y finance the same way you did in the task, remember that this code is executed in a Python virtual environment, so you need to make the import. And then call the task explicitly at the end of your DAG, otherwise Airflow doesn't know that this task exists. Okay, so we have two tasks that execute the same code, but the first task uses an old version of Y Finance, so get shares full is not available, whereas the second task uses this Python virtual environment that we've created earlier with the latest version of Y Finance where get shares full exists. So let's verify that. Type astro dev bash. 
then airflow tasks test my simple dag and run extract stock old Y finance. And as you can see, we still have the same issue as before. Get shares full doesn't exist. Let's verify with the second task that uses the external Python operator. So airflow tasks test my simple dag and extract stock new Y finance. Hit enter. Let's wait a little bit. And as you can see, it works. And that's the beauty of the external Python operator. Now you are able to use the exact same Python library, but with different versions between your F instance and your task without any conflicts. Quick bonus before finishing that video, you can pass some interesting airflow context variables as well. So let's imagine that you want to get the current daytime of your DAG run. You can just use DS equals to known and then print DS here. So if you execute the same task again with the following execution date, the 1st of January 2023, you will be able to see that date here. So that might be useful for you. Then last but not least, you can still share data between your tasks using XCOMS, even if you use the external Python operator. So let's say you want to share the value 42, execute the task, and you can see that the return value was 42. So that will be stored as an XCOM that you can share with other tasks. So that's it about this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you know how to avoid dependency conflicts in the easiest possible way by using the external Python operator. I see you for another video. Take care.